over the past few days we have seen Aratian forces being redeployed to some areas in uh, northwestern and central Tigray views. Uh, yesterday I heard some reporters saying that it was due to increased pressure from TDF that Aratian forces had withdrawn from three areas in northwestern Tigray. Why are Aratian forces being relocated and redeployed? From which areas are Aratian forces withdrawing and to which areas are they being redeployed? What is uh, the objective behind this redeployment of Aratian forces? Firstly, we would say, reportedly, Aratian forces have been moved from three places. I'll have a look at the three places one by one. Then we'll discuss those areas where these Aratian troops are being sent views. Name of the first area is Adi Dairo viewers. Have a look at this map. Adi Dairo is situated uh, to the north and west of Shire viewers. Then uh, the second place is Adi Hagre. Adi Hagre is situated to the north of Adi Dairo views. Both Adi Dairo, Adi Hagre, they are uh, close to Aratia Tigray border. The third place views is Adi Gosho. Adi Gosho is right on Tigray Aratria border. So it is being said that Aratian forces have been mobilized from these uh, three areas Adi Dairo, Adi Hagre, Adi Gosho. Uh, and uh, TDF supporters, some TDF supporters say it's due to increased pressure from TDF that Aratian forces have withdrawn from Adi Dairo, Adi Hagre and Adi Gosho. But according to my information viewers, these areas Adi Dairo, Adi Hagre, Adi Gosho, they are being controlled by Aratian forces. There is not very heavy presence of Tigray Defense Forces or TDF aligned militias in these areas. These are all Tigray Eritrea border areas, especially at the Gosho viewers. And we know that Tigray Eritrea border areas are being controlled by Eritrean forces, not by TDF fighters. UNOCHA, United Nations Office for the Coordination of Humanitarian Activities, has also confirmed. There is almost no fighting, very little fighting in Tigray Aratia border areas because these areas are being controlled by Aratian forces. So if Aratian forces have withdrawn from Adi Dairo, Adi Hagre, Adi Gosho, it is not due to TDF pressure upon them. But they are being sent towards those areas which are going to be targeted by Aratian forces in the coming days. Reportedly from Adi Dairo, Adi Hagre, Adi Gesho, and Adi Gosho, Aratian forces have been sent towards Esgade. Where is Esgade located? Esgade is located in northwestern Tigray. It is to the west of the road which connects uh, Shire to Indabagna viewers. And reportedly in Esgade there is heavy deployment of Aratian forces. And from Esgade Aratian forces uh, are planning and, and some say they have started their offensive towards uh, central Tigray and some parts of northwestern Tigray. So, the, the movement of Aratian forces from Adi Dairo, Adi Hagri and Adi Gosho towards Esgade is meant to target those areas in northwestern and central Tigray which are being controlled by Tigray Defense Forces and TDF aligned militias. Secondly, viewers, we have seen uh, some Aratian contingents arriving in central Tigray from B-30 highway as well. Reportedly, Aratian troops have arrived uh, near Nidar, which is in uh, central Tigray. 
then uh, some contingents have arrived in Farisme and uh, Mirina views. These three areas are situated inside Central Tigray. So from B30 highway, Aratian forces are trying to uh, penetrate deep into Central Tigray. And from Tigray, Eritrea border areas, which Eritrean forces are in control of. From those areas, Eritrean forces are moving towards the northwestern Tigray. In a previous video, I informed you that now there is presence of Tigray defense forces in three main areas. Central Tigray, Tamban, uh, Abayadi, uh, some uh, Tigray Amhara border areas like Ofla Warida and northwestern Tigray. So it seems views that Aratian forces have launched, they are planning to launch another offensive into central Tigray. Three days ago, in a video, I informed you that Aratian forces and ENDF they were planning to launch another final offensive on Central Tigray. It seemed that this mobilization of Eritrean forces from Adi Daro, Adi Hagri, Adi Gosho, it is linked to the start of an other Eritrean offensive on Northwestern and Central Tigray. What happened of the previous Eritrean offensive on Central Tigray? It worked, viewers. We know that we haven't seen large-scale attacks by Tigray Defense Forces over the past few weeks. Eritrean Forces, Ethiopian National Defense Forces, they managed to push Tigray Defense Forces on the back foot. And now they want to make the most of this uh, moment and they want to put uh, more pressure upon TDF by launching an other offensive on Northwestern and Central Tigray. Yesterday, I informed you that some air strikes have also been conducted in uh, Gaia, uh, which is in Tambine, uh, Tamban area. So, uh, it's very much clear that Aratian forces are being mobilized from B-30 highway and from Western Tigray, from tigray Aratia border areas towards Central Tigray and towards northwestern Tigray. An other round of intense fighting has started or it's going to start views. Aratian forces and ENDF, uh, they want to strike a decisive blow to TDF views. We might see Ethiopian National Defense Forces advance from A2 highway uh, to the west views. We haven't seen so far that, but in the coming days, uh, in order to coordinate this Aratian offensive uh, on Northwestern and Central Tigray, you might see and, and you will see uh, Ethiopian National Defense Forces advance from A2 highway towards Central Tigray. I think for